Hello and welcome to another video. And at the end of the last video, I mentioned that I was going to do a video just about the water system that I'm going to use um, this time around because I said I wasn't going to use a tap, um, which is kind of true. Um, <laughs> but I'm not going to use a conventional um, like water pump and tap system that you get in a camper van. Um, I felt like it's probably sometimes a bit unnecessary and it didn't do everything that I wanted it to do. So I kind of came up with a different idea and it's a really, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. I think it might be interesting for those that maybe want to do a self build and might not want to put a tap in. So this idea is the simplest of ideas. In the last videos I'd made, I actually plumbed in the wastewater. So I thought the first thing I'd do is let's have a look at the wastewater outlet and just see how I did that. Um, and, uh, and then we'll get on to the, uh, the actual fresh water system. And then, um, yeah, I think we'll go from there. So let's have a look at the wastewater first. So let's go for it. Okay, so as we saw, I got my sink in and the worktop and everything. So um, you saw me um, cut the hole for the actual sink. Um, now I've actually got it in, it's really simple. It's just literally one screw and that holds the whole thing together. And I've got this water pipe this time. I was using um, basically a, a standard garden hose last time but this time we've gone for a what's called a convoluted pipe just attached there with a jubilee clip i drilled a hole through the side as you can see my waste outlet comes out here and straight into the container it's as simple as that i've got a clip here this time um so i can when it's all filled up with wastewater i can just poke that into there and that'll hold it upright so nothing will leak out but um, then i can just take out the water container and um, empty it, so it's as simple as that. This is a nice little 10 litre water container. Um, I've just got it on this kind of a elasticated strap and I've put some uh, little press studs on there so I can adjust the length because then I can just put other things down here as well. And then when I wanna put it back in, I just, after I've emptied it, apply it back in and that's it. It's as simple as that. So let's go and uh, look at the fresh water. Okay, so for my fresh water system, I have got a new thing that I bought and I bought this quite a while ago because I knew I was going to do this. So here it is. Ooh. The question is what's in the box? Let's have a look. Okay. So as you might see from the logo on the top it's called a collapse and inside is this little thing. Um, Got a neat little bungee thing there and it is a collapsible water container it does kind of stay like this until you kind of put water in it and the great thing is it's got its own little tap there so i have to say yeah it feels really nice quality yeah the quality of it is absolutely superb feels really tough. I've read lots of reviews about it and people have been using theirs for years and years and said that it's still exactly like when they first bought it. It's great. You can buy lots of different attachments for it as well. So you can get, you can actually get um, a little pump for it. So it's like a, a shower. So I kind of thought maybe I can get that. It's a rechargeable uh, shower unit. So you can actually use it as a little for squirting in your sink. I don't know what all these things do, whether this is all part of it. There's all sorts of different things you can get for it. Um, a lot of caravanners use it, but yeah, it's got a really neat little tap on there. I have to say, I think it looks really smart. I really love the colour. Um, it comes in all sorts of different colours. So let's fill it up and um, have a go with it. Okay, I've now filled it up. As you can see, I can see exactly how much water's in it, which is a super cool feature to me. Um, I just need to put an angle there and I can... Oh, I can have it like that, I can have it straight on. You can pulse it like that. So I like the control on it. I think it's really nice. Obviously you can just leave it like that, just like a normal thing. Cool. Um, obviously the main feature is I can pick this up and I can just take it outside and use the water source outside as well. One of the other reasons that I'm going to favour this system over my last one was before when I had my uh, big container with a water pump in it, one of the things I would find is if I'm just doing it for sort of like just a single day trip, um, I'd have to fill up that water container like 
above the water pump because the water pump wouldn't work unless it was like quite submerged in the water so you'd end up using about like between like five and sort of seven litres of water just for me to go out on like the bike or something and um, I would just use a little flask of water and um, that's what I'd use. I'd just need enough for like a cup of tea and that was it really. So it's a bit of a waste of water. And um, another thing I'd do is I'd fill it up. I'd forget that I'd put the water in there. And then sort of like a few weeks later, I'd go back and um, the container and the, the pump and the pipe would go all fusty. So then I'd have to clean it all out. Um, you know, I'd have to get some detergents and actually you know, get it all clean again. And this would be a cycle that would go on and on and on. It would really infuriate me. So hopefully with this um, collapsible bucket, I only use it when I need to use it. And the rest of the time, I'm just going to use just like a bottle of water, really. Um, that's all I'm going to need. So one point that I did know about with this uh, water container before I bought it was um, it's not really good for like storing water in it whilst you're moving because the lid is a little bit, it just kind of places on it's not super secure so it's not ideal to put water like fill it up to the top and then just put it in the middle of your floor and start driving off and i can imagine when you break it'll just fall off but what i'm going to do is i've got another thing which i'll just get this out so it's another collapsible foldable item i'm really into this collapsible stuff now i think i'm going to get a collapsible kettle at some point they look amazing but it's this it's um foldable water bags now um I look for different things because I don't really want like hard containers that just take up space when you're not when you know, when it's not needed. So I love this foldable stuff. Um, so this will hold, as you can see here, 10 litres of water. And I bought a pack and had three in it. And so that's 30 litres of water I could potentially carry around. Um, that's a lot of water, isn't it? I don't need that much. So I think there's just one of these. This will hold eight litres of water. Already that's 18 litres of water, really. But I've I could potentially fill up 30 litres uh, with all the bags and these will these will actually stand up. Um, you fill them up and the, the, the base kind of flops out and then it all stands up. So they, they just take up absolutely no space at all. Get them filled up and then we just use this on the side and just keep filling this up from the bags. So, um, so then you've got the tap function. I mean, I think that's kind of like the way that I will use all this. So there we have it. There's my new water system. I told you it was going to be simple, <laughs> but I think that's pretty cool. I really... I really do like this thing. I think it's um, the quality of it, it does look absolutely superb. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. But if you find a good product, I think it's worth saying it. But I have got a link in the description. Um, so if you want to buy it, please use that because then it will help the channel because it is a like an affiliate link type thing. So it doesn't cost you anything, but it gives me a little bit if it's um, if you buy one. And I think these are bloody fantastic. They come in different colours as well. And we really like this green one. And I reckon this will uh, this will solve all of my kind of like problems I had before. Not that they were huge problems, to be honest. They're very much first world problems, I would say. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So there we go. That's my simple water system. Hope you like the video. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.